I wanted to have something that's very simple but also detailed in a way. So when you look at it from a distance, you could like see what it is. It really suited like how I wanted the mask to be. I wanted to be a little bit more old school. And then as always on the back of my mask, I have um, my family, four bears, uh, polar bears. Before every game, I always take a look in the back. Late 80s, early 90s, we got Lord Byron, Byron Defoe. And just love the swag that he had. So now when we had the opportunity to actually do this here in Boston, I was very excited. I think we did a very good job of having that flat pad design, but at the same time, just add a little touch of shades that makes it look like they're actually older than they are. Uh, it's special. Um, you know, you get to do certain things that mean a lot to you, and you get to represent it on a really cool stage. Obviously, this one being at, uh, at Fenway Park. Ted Williams, uh, Kurt Schilling, and David Ortiz, obviously three household names here in Boston. Uh, to be able to put them on my mask and obviously pay tribute is something special. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, I put everything on the mask, obviously representing the Bruins and Red Sox as well, because Boston, you know, every team here it means a ton to the city. It has that kind of vintage look and that, uh, that color, so I thought something cool would be to match it up with the pads and kind of have that waffle board looking, you know, pad color like they had back in the old days. Uh, you know, try to throw it back and make sure I'm, I'm playing the part.